In this video, I'll be showing how to calculate confidence interval for a particular set of data using the uh, distribution platform in Jump. So the data set that I have here is film thickness of a polymer taken from 100 different samples. So let's plot the uh, histogram and along with the summary statistics using the distribution platform in Jump. So you can see that uh, by default uh, uh, under the summary statistics, Jump plots uh, uh, along with the histogram, uh, it gives the 95% uh, confidence interval. Now let's say you want uh, confidence interval at uh, other probabilities like 90% or 99%. You can obtain them by uh, choosing the red triangle here, going to confidence interval and then choosing 0.9. So now uh, you can see that 90% uh, confidence interval has been plotted. Similarly, uh, you can also open up the 99% confidence interval and also uh, you can use the other option if you want to use uh, other uh, confidence intervals. Now, uh, interesting thing to note here is that when the, uh, um, when the 1 minus alpha is high, uh, when it is lower, uh, for example, like this is a uh, 0.9 and this is 0.99 you can see that at 0.9 the uh, confidence interval range is lower compared to the uh, 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 when the uh, confidence interval uh, 1 minus alpha is much higher uh, but uh, keep in mind that uh, when your uh, 1 minus alpha is lower that means that there is a greater risk that the true mean is not captured so usually uh, uh, for most of the uh, data analysis, 95% uh, is uh, what is used. However, in rare circumstances, uh, different uh, confidence intervals may be required. 